So in this example, a uniform ladder of length 6 meters and weight 150 newtons is leaning at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical against a smooth wall with its base resting on rough horizontal ground. A man of weight 800 newtons climbs up the ladder. Given that the coefficient of friction is 0.1, find the maximum distance that the man can climb up the ladder before it slips. OK, so let's dive straight into a diagram. All right, here's my wall, here's the floor, here's the ladder. OK, so uh, we know that the ladder is uniform. It's got a weight of 150 newtons. So I'll start off by popping in 150 newtons there. And I'll complete the triangle as well, just in readiness. Now, it's six meters long, so that means that that distance is three meters. Okay, so that distance there. It's leaning at an angle of 20 degrees to the vertical, so that means that that angle is 20 degrees. Now, if that's 20 degrees, then this angle, with that being a right angle, of course, must be 70 degrees. OK, uh, now it's against a smooth wall. So the wall is smooth, so there's no friction, but there will be a normal reaction force. So the normal reaction force RW for the wall, uh, with its base resting on rough horizontal ground. So there will be a normal reaction force, so let's call that RF, but also a frictional force, FR, working towards the left. A man of weight 800 newtons climbs up the ladder. So here's the man. And it's got a weight of 800 newtons. Complete that triangle as well. OK. Um, and we're told that the coefficient of friction between the floor and the, wall, and the ladder rather is 0 0.1. Find the maximum distance that the man can climb up the ladder before it slips. OK, so we'll also need to call that distance x. So x metres from that point down there. OK? Right, OK, so let's take a look at these two triangles. Um, now, if that's 20 degrees, that's 70 degrees. So that would be 20 degrees in there, so that's got to be 70 in there, hasn't it? So that's 70. And that's 70. OK. So we'll be able to split that up into its components. Um, so 150 sine 70, 150 cosine 70, 800 sine 70, 800 cosine 70. So we know that the friction must be equal to mu times r, which is 0 0.1 times by the normal reaction with the floor, so rf. So we've got that. Now let's resolve forces. So I'm going to resolve vertically first, taking upwards as positive. We have RF, take away 150, take away 800, is equal to 0. So RF must be 950 newtons. Now, given that I know 950 is RF, I can work out the friction, so therefore the friction must be equal to 0.1 times 950, so 95 newtons. If I resolve horizontally, taking to the right as positive, I've got RW, the normal reaction with the wall, take away the friction. They're the only two horizontal forces, so that must be equal to zero. So therefore, the normal reaction with the wall must also be 95. OK, so we've resolved forces. So now let's take moments. So I'm going to choose to take moments about that point there. Let's call it A. So taking moments about point A. Now, first of all, we are three metres away from the... 150 newton force. Now, that component is 150 cosine 70, 
and that's going to be going around in an anti-clockwise motion, so that's positive. So three times 150 cosine of 70 degrees. We're x meters away from the component of this force, so 800 cosine 70. So plus x times 800 cosine 70. Now, as for the normal reaction with the wall, let's complete that triangle there. Now, if that's 70, that's 70, so that must be equal to 20. Okay, so alternate angles, and then that one in there, they've got to add up to 90. So, this component here is Rw cosine of 20 degrees. And we're 6 metres away from it, and it's going around in a clockwise motion. So take away 6 times Rw cosine 20. Now remember, we've worked out what Rw is. It's 95. So I can replace that with 95. And that's got to be equal to zero. OK. So make sure your calculator is in degrees mode. We have 6 times 95 times cosine of 20. Take away 3 lots of 150 times cosine of 70. And then I need to divide that by 800 times cosine of 70. And we get x is 1.39507761, so 1.40 metres to three significant figures. So the man can climb up 1.4 metres uh, before the ladder slips.